Hey, what's up? So I just wanted to quickly show you a couple of things. Small part of uh, the normalization of digital ID. Uh, all in the, the name of security and protection, right? Privacy. Privacy, where you got to put in your government ID or your facial photo to prove your age, right? Um, part of facial recognition, by the way. Uh, but anyways, anyways, yeah, no, so I, I came, I was looking at the reviews for, I was, I, I opened up God of War Ragnarok on Steam, I forget why, I think I was just gonna go check out the forum, see what people were saying and stuff, um, and then, I, so I went to the store, I always go to the store page first, because then I go to the community from there, um, and I saw that the reviews were mixed, and I was like, mixed, that's an interesting one for such a, you know, I don't, I mean, I haven't played the, the I'm seeing my audio, it looks weird, um, I haven't played the sequel, but the first game was incredible, uh, incredible so I you know I'm, I'm planning to play the sequel at some point as well um, but um, but I when I saw it was mixed I was like that's not a game you would normally see mixed at you know at launch right like not normally there hasn't been any real controversy or anything the only controversy around the game is requiring PSN which was also, I think, Ghost of Tsushima? I can't remember for sure. I know there was a previous game as well that required... Oh, Hell Divers, for example, when they switched it, it didn't require a PSN account for, like, months, a few months or several months, and then they added it, and it made everybody pissed off. Um, <laughs> but anyway, you know, it is very strange to require the PSN account, but at the same... I, I don't care kind of you know things are getting worse in that sense and the only where it's getting worse is literally forcing it for everything you have to have a mobile device this one the very first thing they say is you need a mobile device to verify your age and i've seen that i've seen that on psn account creation uh apparently it's not here in america i don't know i, I imagine it will start at some point but i have seen it for other countries i've seen you know people are sharing their screenshots of them creating an account um, and it's also a thing that that they update right like I didn't have to create I didn't have to do certain things when I created an account and this and that whatever um, But the new normal is like if you're newly creating an account here are the new rules that the new people are, are forced to follow um, And then eventually they forced on the older accounts as well That's what that's how it works like they start with the new accounts and then they they start telling everybody okay now everybody has to do this <laughs> Yeah, yeah um, and I, I hate having a phone. I needing I, like, I hate having to pay like for a mobile phone. Like I, I wouldn't care about having a landline. Like whatever. I almost never use a phone. I never use a phone. Um, I used to when I was a kid. I used to talk to friends all the time. I don't have friends anymore. <laughs> um, but uh, I, I don't need a phone, man. And and if I did need a phone, I don't know. I mean, I'd rather use a pay phone. I'd, you know, right? Like I still miss that. Anyways. Um, so number one is you literally have to use a phone number, right, to create your account. And I've noticed this on Discord, Twitch, uh, a lot of different sites that I'm not remembering off the top of my head. Those are just the regular ones I use. That's why I think about it. But I've seen this everywhere. I've seen it everywhere. You create a new account, whatever. Um, you want to log in. They require phones. I've seen game betas require your phone number to sign up for. This, this is the new normal, and it's it's going to continue. Right? Anybody that doesn't think this is gay, you're, you're stupid. You're 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 brainless. There's, I don't even know why I'm making this video, but uh, I did want to talk about it real quick because it's funny, man. I think it's crazy to to see this is actually normalizing, just like many stupid zombie brainless crazy things um, that are being normalized right now. Um, but yeah, so if if you like, for example, on in my case on this one, if I didn't want to use my phone number or my phone to log in, which I don't, every time I see that, I close it. I don't add my phone numbers. I don't sign up to betas that are asking for my phone number. I go and I tell them, I go, hey, you're stupid. You don't need my phone number. <laughs> I'm not gonna play your stupid beta. Um, you know, uh, like it's just so ridiculous. But yeah, so and then there's no option, right? Like in most of these cases, there's no other option. You can't just skip it. You either do it or you don't get on. Um, so this one is you either you either have to use your phone number or you have to submit your photograph for facial recognition um, or a government issued ID 
Um, people make this point of a to a third party website. I that I don't care either way. Any website that I have to do that for is stupid. If I have to use my government ID or my picture to play a video game, this is disgusting. This is disgusting. These people are acting like people's parents. If if you don't even think about it in the full control system, like whatever, you you're allowing other people to 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 turn themselves into your children's parent. Like you should be the one to decide if your kid is allowed to play that game or not, right? I'm just saying. Um, but no, these people think that they get to control everything and get to get all your information. And, and that is the new normal. That, that is, this is a fact. This is the reality that we're living in. Um, it's, it's really funny to me to, to see so many people still like call it a conspiracy theory say it's crazy like no we're literally living through it and it's literally happening in everything but it's a conspiracy uh you know whatever man um so that's god of war ragnarok and, if, and i had seen this before seen it in discussion before with other couple other games um but uh, yeah no that's what happens the new normal it'll just keep happening it's not gonna just go away oh we oh people complained about it on this one game really do you remember the 70 dollars price increase on video games do you remember that do you remember what they kept saying do you remember what nintendo said oh we're only gonna do this for our you know major titles uh now i have even made a video about that saying that was nonsense like give me a break right but um you know a lot of people were saying oh it's just gonna be some games whatever like what do you what do you how does that even enter your brain how does that even, how does it even be a thought that, could, like, oh no, just that one game is going to be more expensive. Like, <laughs> you don't have any thoughts. You don't. You There's no no brain, no wheels going on, man. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so the other thing that I wanted to share, I thought this was very funny. Space Marine 2. Oh, I didn't realize they both would zoom in. Okay. Um, Space Marine 2, not as, not as horrible as the, um, PSN requirement. Oh, I forgot to change. Didn't change my glasses. Whatever. I see better with the old ones. They're ruined. Um. Anyways, uh, the main title screen of Space Marine Two. I laughed when I saw this. I booted the game up and I was like, "What?" <laughs> um, uh, connect your profile. Use the QR code to access your pros account. Uh, there's two different. Um, you know things here that tell you what to press to to use your qr code for registration and login um, and and fortunately you are not forced to do that for this game if you just want i don't know if it i don't know what it's even for i don't know what the hell this account thing is i have no idea what this pros account is like i don't know what it is um but it's i'm just sharing it as a like you know this is normalization hello right this is just when people will still call it a conspiracy it's so funny man because because and i don't know i guess because the, like there's nothing nefarious about that specifically i guess right you know like it's just oh uh, anyways anyways yep all right mom bye bye